We've got some mind-blowing news from the world of AI. And if you're into artificial intelligence, you're going to want to stick around. I'm talking about Google's latest and greatest creation, Gemini. Sundar Pichai just dropped a bomb, declaring it the AI revolution we've all been waiting for. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive right in. First things first, let's talk about the three faces of Gemini. We've got Nano, Pro, and Ultra, each with its own superpowers. Nano is the lightweight version for your Android devices. Pro is the heavyweight backbone of Google's AI services. And Ultra, well, that bad boy is built for data centers and enterprise applications. BARD is already flexing its muscles with Gemini Pro, and Pixel 8 Pro users are in for a treat with some cool new features powered by Gemini Nano. And guess what? If you're a developer or an enterprise client, you can dive into Gemini Pro starting December 13th through Google Generative, AI Studio, or Vertex AI in Google Cloud, English only for now. But Peach IT's to global integration. All right, here's the ultimate showdown. GPT-4 versus Gemini. Google's firing back after a year of OpenAI's chat GPT domination. Pichai and DeepMind CEO Dimis Hassabis claim Gemini's the new sheriff in town, dominating GPT-4 in 30 out of 32 categories. From language understanding to Python code generation, Gemini's taking the lead. It's not just talk, it's backed up by benchmark tests. So what's the secret behind Gemini? It's all about multimodality. Unlike OpenAI's separate models for different stuff, Gemini is a superhero that understands text, images, video, and audio right from the get-go. Hasabis dreams of a future where Gemini taps into even more senses, becoming a true superhero of AI. But hey, benchmarks are cool, right? Sure, Gemini aced those tests. But the real deal is everyday user experiences. Whether you're brainstorming, looking up info, or writing code, Gemini aims to elevate your interaction game. Google even sees coding as a killer app for Gemini with its alpha code 2 system outperforming GPT-4. Gemini is not just a brain yet. It's efficient too. Trained on Google's tensor processing units, it's got speed and cost advantages over its predecessors. Plus, there's a shiny new TPU V 5P in town designed for handling large-scale models in data centers. Efficiency and innovation, check and check. Let's zoom out and look at the big picture. According to Pichai and Hasabis, it's clear Gemini is more than a product launch. It's a milestone, a peek into the future Google's been building towards for a while now. Now, Google's not rushing into this AI battlefield blindly. After playing catch up with OpenAI, they're taking a bold and responsible approach, especially with AGI on the horizon. Safety first. Gemini undergoes rigorous testing for security and reliability. Slow and steady wins the race. And speaking of the future, Pichai has been waxing poetic about AI for years. He's even said it will be more transformative than fire or electricity. Gemini might not change the world in its first generation, but Google believes it's the beginning of something huge. The web made Google a giant. Gemini could make it even bigger. In the clash of AI titans, Gemini emerges as Google's trump card. The Gemini era is here, and according to Google, it's right on time. Will Gemini spark a new era of innovation? Or is it the torchbearer of a revolution that's been a long time coming? Only time will tell, but for now, the stage is set, and the world is watching as Gemini takes center stage in the unfolding drama of artificial intelligence. And that's a wrap for today's video. If you're as hyped about Gemini as we are, smash that like button. Hit subscribe and let us know in the comments what you think about Google's new AI powerhouse. Until next time, this is AI Nexus. Stay curious about the world of AI and I'll catch you in the next one.